Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane. I'm back with another tour review and today this fantastic alt mode and I, I don't know if it's gonna be a fantastic toy but I love this alt mode. I love this Alita toy. She's still in the box. I've seen a couple reviews. I, I'm, it looks way uh, more uh, accurate to the uh, G1 cartoon although it's not 100%. But I like that she's not a repaint of RC or any other uh, repaint. I like that she's a car, not a plane. I like that she's her own mold. But I do wish that they do a, an actual repaint of this into the Homer Simpson mobile, which we'll see here, maybe, if I think about it. And because, uh, yeah, I mean, with the, it, there's the, a little feel of the Simpson mobile. So that'd be a cool crossover. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna review her. Uh, I already have the Netflix one right here, and I absolutely like her. And uh, but the transformation of that mold is such a pain. So now I'll have I have a the Studio Series 86 RC to replace the Earthrise RC. I have this to replace the Netflix Alita. Uh, but I still have Lifeline, so you know it's uh, three different mold. Uh, it's gonna be uh, I don't know looks better on the shelf. Before I do the review, I just want to remind everyone to wait until the end of the video to get your 10% discount code at DJC Collectibles for anything Transformers, fantastic online store. Also check out the voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And now let's roll the intro. I can deal with Decepticons. The Leader One knows no fear. Yeah, as much as I like the uh, G1 version, I do think that the characterization of Elita One in the War for Cybertron uh, show was a little better. The contrast being that G1 Elita One was Optimus's girlfriend, who happened to be a cool character, and now in War for Cybertron, she's a cool character that happened to be Optimus's girlfriend. So. I really liked uh, Lindsay Russo's interpretation of the character. She had more personality. But this one's a classic. I mean, I really like the alt mode uh, that we're gonna see in a moment. But the product shot, well, the uh, artwork looks really good. Standard legacy box. You have Elita 1. Very nicely uh, depicted. And product shots, sorry about the ring light. Really good. You can scan those QR codes if you want to have uh, uh, description of their powers and a little bio and stuff uh, which I haven't done yet so good box um, instructions the legacy instructions as you'll see are very reminiscent of what we got in the war for Cybertron line pause when you need it and now taking a look at the accessories it's two different guns so you have and it's all clear now for some reason I don't like that but eh, what you gonna do eh? So this nicely molded, uh, good looking gun, and then this one is different, uh, it's a different pistol, like this is a rifle, this is a pistol, uh, the molding is really good on these, it's just white clear plastic, and then of course you can plug uh, the pistol into the rifle to have a, I don't know, double barrel shotgun, yeah. something different, but yeah, it looks okay. But I would have preferred to have them in, uh, you know, regular plastic. And I forgot to show this little accessory. This goes in uh, on the back of the figure uh, so that uh, it kind of looks like uh, her head is sticking out in uh, alt mode. I'll show you in a second. And then Alita one. I'm very happy with uh, this mold. Uh, for those who saw my RC uh, review, I was a little disappointed with the Studio Series 86. But uh, this one here, nothing but praise. Uh, the head sculpt looks really good. I mean, huge, you know, round thing here compared to the uh, Netflix Alita one. Uh, so different, uh, it's, everything is different. I mean, there's no parts from, well, let's bring her in. You have no parts from the, Earth, the Netflix one that was reused to make this one. The legs are different, the uh, shins are different, the feet are very different, the arms are completely new, the hands are a different mold, 
it's a completely different transformation, different alt mode, uh, and the face is uh, very completely different. And uh, so, but both are good representation of each other's version. I like the the, the paint on the uh, the chest and the crotch looks really good. The leg, I think the color matching. This one's a little paler, but does the job. Uh, she has, you know, warrior legs instead of I'm a girl leg and a big huge boot. The head sculpt is really good. I like the horns way better on this one than uh, the Netflix version. Sure, there is a bit of a backpack, but if you want to remove that, you can always put it downwards like this, you know. Or you can give her shoulder cannons if you want to pretend that the headlights are, uh, you know. That's more than 80s woman shoulder pads, so. But either is fine, it's up to, you know, it's your figure, display it how you want it. Uh, rotation at the head on a ball joint, it's really, it's kind of hindered, but it works. You have, well, you could have a 360 rotation. Well, you do have a 360 rotation if you do it like this. Uh, mushroom peg here, so at the end. Uh, you have a rotation. Uh, mine actually, when I opened the box, that arm was off. Uh, so I just plugged it back in and it works fine now. Uh, you have the 90 degree, or more than 90 degree bend. And you have a rotation at the wrist because of transformation. Because I'm guessing uh, they wouldn't have done it otherwise. Don't have an ab crunch, but you do have a waist rotation. You have a leg rotation. No, you don't because it jams here. Okay, so you don't have a 360. You have a kick up, kick back, you have a 90 degree bend. Uh, you don't have any rotation from the knees. And then at the end you have the tilt for the, but you don't have a back and forth with the toe. She looks fantastic. I, I'm this. I'm really happy with. That's the Alita one I always wanted when I was a kid. I mean, I love this representation. Sure, she's an RC repaint, and I hate the alt mode, but you know, there's something about her that uh, I think it's because of the voice actress. I really like Lindsay Russo, so I think that's why I like this character so much. Let's uh, remove her for now. Uh, put this wonderful figure here and do some size comparisons. So here she is with converted Siege Sideswipe into G2 Optimus Prime, Toy Hacks Siege Ultra Magnus, and Earthrise Optimus Prime. So here is my uh, second favorite couple of uh, the Transformers series. Uh, the first one being, of course, Iron High and Chromia. And uh, <laughs> I really like uh, to have them uh, displayed uh, together. It's, uh, it's really fun. And uh, maybe I should Raise her head a little bit so you can see. Oh, you can't. She doesn't have a head tilt. Well, let's, there you go. You can see those uh, nice blue eyes. So he's fully toy hacks. I'm hoping that they're gonna do a set soon. You know, I'll definitely toy hacks her when uh, the set's there so that they're both pampered up for a date. All right, and now let's move on to transformation. <laughs> did it once so what you want to do is move this upward here and then push this down so that clips here and then push the other one down so that clips here come on you have to put it in these clips and it's not clip it's like pressure points anyway go like this to give her that nice head uh, headlight with a little gapage and we're done so you see here the head is sticking out a little bit and then you have this accessory here. So there's, you know, it's a little more dignified position than RC, definitely. Um, and I like the way that the legs are, you know, kind of reminds me of Sunstreaker where you pull the legs and I think Wheeljack also was like that. You just pull them and fold them over. So a similar mechanism. But now that I look at the alt mode correctly from this angle, not so sure about the Simpson mobile anymore. It's kind of too short. I mean, it's really short. You know, I thought it was longer because of the transformation, the, the, the product shot. 
But if you look at it now, yeah, it's I don't, I, I'm not feeling that uh, Simpson Mobile thing anymore. Maybe a retool or something. But anyway, she looks good. She rolls really well, even on this surface. And uh, the feet are you know, in the back. They're covering. You, know, you could pretend they're propeller, and uh, you know, it's 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 better than the Studio Series 86 RC. Um, but I like uh, the way she looks. Kind of. Uh, Oh, it's not tabbing super well. Like it's hard to line up, not line up everything because it's not panel. It's really clips that you slide in. You know, there's no click. It's just pressure putting them together. So, but I like the way that, you know, you from this angle, you can't see any robot parts. And then here, of course, you see the uh, the robot junk, the, the, the hip is there. Uh, the leg you can see the back so you know toy hacks hopefully will have a, a whole window to cover this that that'd be really awesome would look really really good like the paint on this one uh yep definitely a better alt mode than the earthrise uh, repaint and i'm extremely happy to have let's do some size comparison first with studio series 86 slag kingdom cyclonus and kingdom or legacy blaster and now let me put her back in robot mode and do my final thoughts in the end i love this mold i love the the whole remold of this figure it's fantastic new new everything new weapons new look new alt mode it's she's fantastic this is the alita one that i've been waiting for 37 years i love her she the paint is good the articulations are you no know, she's a little hard to pose because she does have uh, a bit of a you know back cable and uh, overall i'm very satisfied with this purchase uh got her at djc collectibles make sure to get your code at the end and this will be a great addition to your collection so thanks for watching guys i hope you've enjoyed this video if you did please like subscribe and hit the bell also leave a comment i love reading those and remember nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole take care